an ABC News exclusive. One of the students who survived that Oregon College shooting tells her terrifying story, explaining how she made it out alive and what she heard from the killer. ABC's Neil Karlinski is in Roseburg with the story. Good morning, Neil. George, good morning. Investigators learned a lot of new information this weekend, including that the gunman apparently took his own life. But much of what they know comes from the eyewitnesses who are right there, like the woman you are about to meet. She is a marketing student. It was only her second day at college ever when the gunman burst in, shot her in the back. She says she kept her eyes shut, lied on the floor, and played dead to survive. This is her remarkable story. I could just, I could hear everyone breathing hard and, and freaking out and crying and he um, he asked everyone to move to the center of the classroom so we all kind of just like army crawled to the center. To say that 18 year old Anastasia Boylan feels lucky to be alive doesn't do justice to just how overwhelmed she is to still be here. Are you thinking that you uh, might not make it out of that room? Yeah I didn't I didn't think I was going to make it. I, um, last thing I remember praying was, uh, that my family and my loved ones and that the family and loved ones of my peers would somehow know that we're all okay. From her wheelchair inside the Oregon hospital that helped save her from a gunshot wound to the back, she recounted the nine minutes of hell inside Umpqua Community College last Thursday when alleged gunman Chris Mercer opened fire. She says the gunman even spoke to them. He sounded really deranged because he said that he had been waiting to do that for a really long time, and he laughed. He laughed? He laughed after, after he shot the teacher. She says he picked out one student specifically to be the one who would live to tell the tale. He said, the kid in the glasses, get up. I need you to do me a favor. Today's your lucky day. And hands him this, like, business envelope because he wasn't going to be able to do that after he was done killing the rest of us and he said he was going to kill himself. She says he had a question for each of his victims. He had us get up um, one by one and asked us what our religions were. When the student said his religion, he immediately was shot? Yeah, he, the, the shooter said that um, he would only feel the pain for a couple of seconds and that he would be with God soon, and then he shot him. She played dead as he called out to her and kept her eyes shut, and then it was over. All of a sudden I heard the, uh, one kid in my class say that he was dead, he's dead, he's shot in the head, everything's okay. You made it. You're safe. I will never, ever take for granted a second, a minute, an hour, a day. Never again. Such a strong woman. She still has some numbness, she says, from the gunshot, which was near her spine. But amazingly, she says she expects to make a full recovery, Amy. Wow, what a remarkable story, Neil. Thank you. And of course, our thoughts and prayers continue mm -hmm. to be with the Roseburg community.